one understands me. Hey, Siobhan. What's the matter? Who are you? Oh, I am you from the year 2021. I came to talk to you. What's that on your face? What? Oh, right. This must be also new to you. Um, I I'm vaccinated and I tested negative, so I think it's okay. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I can't say too much, you know, corona. It's something just to do with the coronavirus. You mean that beer dad likes at the Mexican place? Yeah, it it's definitely has to do with the beer corona. Anyways, I'm here to talk to you. Why? Well, in the year 2021, you are in graduate school and you had an assignment to look at your development. I thought it'd be fun to come back and observe how life is for 13-year-old me. Well, it absolutely sucks. Well, of course it sucks. You're in Erickson's stage of identity versus identity confusion. You want to find out who you are, but you're struggling to fit in. What? Okay, for example, you're currently in eighth grade. You want to discover who you are, but you also want to be truthful to yourself. You've always been a tomboy, but now you're finding, like, Kathy's dresses and nail polish pretty, but you're too afraid to come out and say it to anyone. Keep your voice down! Someone might hear you! Look, it's completely normal. Think about it. How many times have you switched instruments in band class? Well, I did switch again last week. Exactly! You've only done band for about a year now, and you've already switched three times. Next year as a freshman, you're going to switch back to a trumpet. And then in your junior year, you're going to give up band altogether. What? No, I love band. Yes, but you're going to find other things to grow attached to. You're going to start taking French classes in about a year, and that's going to take a huge priority in your life. You know, this is all normal in your development. Okay, so you're 13 now. According to Erickson, it is typical for teenagers to experience a psychosocial moratorium. What this means is you're no longer a child, but you're not trustworthy as an adult yet. You have all these responsibilities, but you are not an adult. It's struggle, you struggle in this gap and that's normal. One way teenagers do to fill this gap is they either try new roles or they push boundaries. So the fact that you like band now and you're starting to be interested in dresses is completely normal. I guess. Well, that's why I came to visit you. And if it's all right, I'd like to go talk to the rest of the family. That way I can properly observe your development. You seem to have this whole thing figured out. Why'd you need to talk to my family? Well, there's another theory, the ecological model theory, which examines environmental areas around an individual to see how things could affect them. For you specifically, your family immigrated to the United States, so you have a mixed cultural influence in your macro system. You know how you often feel out of place at school or when you go visit your cousins in England? Well, that's because of these cultural influences are very different from the peers around you. So if it's okay, I want to go talk to the family so I can see the more direct influences. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Fair. You'll understand what I just said in about six years. Hi, Chad! Hi, Tori! I think I'll get to the answer. I'll be back. God, she is still the same height, isn't she? Hey, Mom. Hey, Siobhan? Yeah, I'm just from 2021. Okay. I guess, well, it doesn't matter where you're from. You're, you're, whatever age you are, you'll always be my baby. It, you just don't let uh, Siobhan upstairs hear that. She'll uh, not want to hear that this age. Okay. <laughs> well, I was just wondering, can I ask some questions about me growing up? Sure. Okay, so I am currently in a master's program. What, wait a minute, you haven't even graduated high school or... Yeah, yeah, remember, I'm in 2021. It's okay. Okay, this is confusing. <laughs> just go with it. It's okay. I've been reading an attachment theory about John Bowlby, and uh, I just want to know, so you were the main caretaker of me growing up. Yep. How did I react when the twins came home? Well, at three, you were very, ex almost three, you were very excited to have a baby brother and sister. In fact, you bragged about them to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you probably did feel a little left out. But, you know, I'd, we tried hard to include you. Do you think I might have felt rejected or anything? 
I don't think so. At least I hope you didn't. Fair. Well, because Bowlby says that a child who loses their main attachment early in life can have severe lifelong consequences. Do you think I have any, like, severe depression, reduced intelligence, or delinquency? No. You don't think so? No. You're in a master's program. <laughs> See, you're catching on. This tongue tied travel <laughs> thing isn't confusing. Yeah, it is, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, do you think I was uh, loved and secure, felt secured as a child? I would hope you did again, and yeah, you know, you were certainly loved. Well, based on from what I'm reading on the theory, that does kind of fit in with my life, so I think you're right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so good job, you're a good parent. Oh, thank you. I know Siobhan will never say that, but you're a good parent. Ooh, I only have a few more minutes before my flight back to 2021. I'll catch up with you later. Oh, by the way, only 12 years ago. For what? Hi, Ian. Oh, I've missed this. You're so short. Do not grow. Hey, Trisha. What do you want? I just wanted to chat with you. If you must. Why are you wearing my jeans? Oh, funny story. In the future, we're actually very similar sizes now. Cool. Literally couldn't care less. Can I still talk to you, though? Yes. All right. Well, so there is this theorist that talks about, um, Viskoski, who talks about a zone of proxismal development, which basically says that a child is able to learn best if you push them just beyond where they're able to do, where able to do a task by themselves, but with assistance, they're able to master it. Uh-huh. Well, I was wondering, because since you were my older sister, do you think there was a time where you were able to help me grow through something? I don't even like you. Why would I do that? True, but I mean, okay, Perfect example, we, I just moved up to the adult class in Taekwondo. I don't know what's kind of going on, so I'm kind of watching you and standing next to you and learning through you, even though you're not really doing anything directly to help me. Well, there you go then. We done? Sure. Thanks for your time. Hey, Sean, hey, Sean. I got the thing for Andrew. Why not? Shut up, Tori. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I know I'm still here, but I was trying to find Dad and I couldn't see him anywhere. Do you know where he is? He's at work. It's a Thursday at 3 p.m. Where else would he be? Right, people in 2007 actually work in the offices instead of home. What? Never mind. Anyways, well... I guess I can talk to you. So, according to another theorist, Piaget, you are supposed to be in what's called a formal operational stage, where you're supposed to be able to think abstractly compared to where you were in your younger years. However, I've kind of, I think, looking back and after talking with everyone, you're not really in that stage yet. Is, is that bad? No, no, it's, it's not something to be worried about, but I think we can help. Well, how can you help? It's okay, Siobhan. We just need to work on your hypothetical deductive reasoning. And I know that's a big fancy term, but basically we just need you to be able to predict what might happen to something. A great way we can do that is we'll go talk to mom and see if we can do some at-home experiments. You know, do things in the kitchen or do things in the living room, and you can kind of predict what might happen based on what you've observed. That actually does sound pretty cool. Don't know if mom will be into it, but I can talk to her at least. This can help you bridge into the Piaget's final stage of development, okay? By bridging into this final stage, you'll be much better suited to learn things in classes, and high school will be a lot easier for you. Wow, it's actually been really cool getting to know you. Um, I guess I'll see you around in a few years. Yeah, this has been nice, but I do have to get going, but hey, I know middle school is hard, but don't grow up too fast. You still have plenty of childhood left in you. I know, but I only have two more years until I get my learner's permit. Oh, God. Well, when you get to Vermont, watch out for guardrails. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You'll see. Take care, Siobhan. Oh, glad that's over. Never thought I'd be more grateful to be back in 2021. All right, you. No time traveling for you. We're very lucky nothing bad happened. Hi, Siobhan. Who's that? Oh, crap.